distance from a band sitting in the stands that might play the anthem, I won't say well enough. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for the start of big times for the seniors at English and Classical and every place else. Actually, it's Thanksgiving week, and it's powder puff football, English against Classical. Classical trying to make it four in a row. As you see, the ROTC, the award-winning yet again ROTC, they just keep winning awards wherever they go. Outstanding. Sergeant Major Oswald and his group do a, just a great job representing the city, the school, their, themselves, their families. Uh, it's just, they, they do a, just a great, great job. They work very hard at it. They put a lot of time and effort, hours in back of English at the meadow. So this is the start for the seniors. They now realize it's winding down. Their high school careers are winding down and they're getting set to graduate. And this is also the start of big things at schools. They'll have a lot of functions that will be happening at school, uh, different things, honoring the students, honoring the seniors. They'll be having fundraisers along the way for different events. B.J. Holy, I named it bounces around the city of Lynn. There's probably 2,000 holies around the city of Lynn that do great stuff. It bounces around. Classical's there to fall on it. English didn't bother to go get it. Well, they give it to English. Once it's touched, it's down. This is this is not flag football, this is touch football. At the English 31 is where they'll put it in play. And I apologize up front, they've got three pages of powder puff English and we have no idea. And it's hard, gonna be hard to tell who's doing what because they've got multiple, multiple numbers. I don't know why they do that they should flip a coin as to who gets the number one, two, three, or four, but they've got many multiples of fours and sixes and elevens. Classical's got single digits, so we should be okay with classical, but English has got three pages of numbers, but there aren't going to be three pages of kids who are going to be playing. They dress virtually the senior class, but most of them are not really interested in going out on the field and playing. P.J. Holy called a timeout. He had everybody going in motion. And he called a timeout before 
the, the ball was snapped. It wasn't easy to practice this past week with the cold weather, and I mean cold weather. So they got double wide receivers to either side. And the first play of the ball is dropped. They put it back at the 31 yard line. Second and 10. Trying to turn the corner, they're going to lose yardage. Keani yeah, Dowling was the one that carried. They lost five. Third and 15. We got one brave classical girl who's out there in short shots. And they're going to lose yardage again. Vanessa Paul back to the 20. They lost six more. Fourth and 21. And they're going to kick it away. They're going to put it down to 33. At the 33 yard line is where they'll put it in play. We'll go over all the names. I, I've got a list of the English kids. It's just that it's extremely difficult when they're on the field because there's so many multiple numbers and there's so many kids. I mentioned P.J. Holy, the coach of English Rob Smith, the head guy for Classical, he does a great job donating his services. You see Rob around everywhere. He helps over the Classical girls basketball program. Pedro gets it to the 29. Second down and six from the 29 yard line. Madison Dana is the quarterback. They snap it overhead, and as soon as the ball hits the ground, it's dead. They put it back at the 38. So they lost nine. It's going to be third and 15. Three wide outs to the near side. They almost went over the, the head again. A burst of speed to the near side. 
Getting inside the 30 yard line. Abigail Stafford gets it to the 27. She picked up 11. So fourth down and just about four. First possession for classical English went four and out. They send four wideouts to the far side. And he couldn't handle the snap. He went with the direct snap and he couldn't handle it. So Classical turns it over right where they got it at the 33. So they gained 15, they lost 15. English gets it back at their 33 yard line. Avi Smith Welton will be the quarterback. We mentioned Classical is trying to make it four wins in a row over arch rival English. These kids all know each other very, very well. They have played sports together growing up. Now they've played against each other in, you know, soccer and basketball and All no gain. Second and ten. They keep everybody in tight. Can't get around the corner. Back to the 21. Third down and 17, as we're halfway through and counting this first period. The ball's been deep in English territory the, through the game. Looking to throw, they lob it up. Almost picked off. Fourth and 18, ball from 26. Fourth and 17. Oh yeah, Paul was the one that almost picked that off. They kicked it away and they drop it at the 45 yard line. Well, Classical will have it for the second time. When we name all these kids, you'll recognize quite a few of them from the different sports over the years. Softball, soccer, basketball. Turning the corner. Keani Jordan. Keani Jordan, the ball carrier. Gets it down to the 39. Picked up six. 
Second down and four. They handled the high snap. Not going to be able to turn the corner. That's Jordan again. They lost two yards. Well, it's going to be third and six. Dana looking to throw. Throws it deep. Overthrows the antenna receiver. Got tied up with the defense. Couldn't get there. Jayla Belvins was, in, was the intended receiver. Fourth and six from the English 41. Both teams have had the ball twice. Neither team has picked up a first down yet. They let it fly. Knocked down. Threw it up in a crowd. I think they're trying to get it. To Jordan. She was looking for Julie Jordan. Julia Jordan. And with 3.30 left in this first period, the English will have the football at their 41 yard line. See, and it doesn't help looking at your screen, seeing the numbers on their backs with the names because it's not their names, it's their nicknames. That's a very big week for four high schools. Flint Tech will play Kip here on Thanksgiving Eve. St. Mary's will travel to Fenwick for a big one. They lost the football. They had it. Dowling with the carry. They lose back to the 37. Second and 14. St. Mary's will travel for a big one to win by St. Mary's would, would make them, would get them a piece of the Catholic Central League Championship. They had a big win yesterday over Cohasset, an outstanding football team. They're on their way to Gillette to play for the state championship. And of course, the granddaddy, English and classical. They lob it up, tipped and knocked away by the classical defense. Should be a bond burner. English and classical having good years. Coach Vaughn. Coach Caskell, Carroll, doing a good job with their teams. And that kicks off senior week and senior season. They'll be looking forward to basketball and hockey. They cut it up inside. Out to the 48, English's deepest penetration. Picked up 11 yards. Fourth and three. 
And I don't think they're going to kick from here. Everybody jumped. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Offside. Glasgow, that's going to give English the first first down of the game. With 135 left, they get the first first down at the Glasgow 47 yard line. Well, the ball crosses midfield for the first time. Dowling with the carry. They're going to put it at the 45, give her two. Second and eight as we're winding down the first period. And the period comes to a close. That's going to be in the first period. Very quickly, I'll try to do as many of these names as I can. And forgive me up front if I mispronounce any names because they're not the easiest names in the world to pronounce. I'll start with English because there's so many of them. Natasha Ellisaint, Caitlin Trubateris, Ashley Jonathan, Kaylee Smith-Welton, Amania Boyd, Angelic Mendoza, Athena Bona, Emily Florian, Priscilla Ferraris, Yasmin Bona, Malith Lopez, Nat Nasha Petaway, Sharon Ramos, Juliana Gallant, Andrea Guzman, Angela De Leon, Christy Novus, Joanna Tavares, Julia Somali, Alexa Gutierrez, Alexis Kelly, Hilary Ramos, Jeffney Dedale, Stephanie Jolobos, Elise Moore, Faisal Gomez, Esmeralda Miranda, Julius Rivera, Alyssa Knopp, Olivia Lang, Jessica Conejo, Pam Rosaris, Juliana Gabellas, Daniela Serrano, Julius Castillo, Natalie De La Cruz, Ismeri Lasuro. And they're going to lose yardage on the next play. And we still have a bunch. They lose five. Lost of three on the play. Third and 13 from midfield. Kaylee Smith-Welton had a very good year for Ed McNeil's soccer team. They double the whiteouts to either side. They let it fly. It's picked off at the 49 yard line. And they're gonna knock her down. Even on the replay, it's hard to pick up the number. The 
There is no 19. At the English 20-yard line. A 31-yard return. Picked it off right at the 49-yard line. And everybody going in motion and they forgot to snap the ball. So classical is a shot to get on board first. They have the deepest penetration at the classical 25. But now it's going to be first and 15. He announced it as number 19 with the interception, but it couldn't have been because there is no 19. There's a number nine. Going on with those English names, Ashley Peach, Dana Oliveras, Juliana Medina, Effie, Idahosa Obo, Chelsea Gaston, and we'll continue when we get an opportunity. Caught over the middle. That's Creighton, I believe. Very good basketball player, volleyball player. They get down to the 16. He picked up nine on the pass play. They lob it up again. It's caught inside the five. Belvin's with the catch. So 23 yards, two pass plays, gets him at the two yard line. It'll be first and goal. Glasgow got a running start. They went in motion. They turned and went upfield, and the ball hadn't even been close to being snapped. Yes, and Dana, of course, is the daughter of the baseball coach at St. Mary. She's an outstanding softball player, very good third baseman. So now it's going to be back at the seven yard line. If you're wondering, they've got soccer players, they could kick the ball if they. Creighton goes in motion. The quick out. And they're going to lose yardage. Margaret McHale with the catch. But they lost two yards. So it looked golden when they had it first and goal at the two. Now it's second and goal from the nine. Creighton again goes in motion. Incomplete. So now it's third and goal. English trying to hold on. Defense, defense, defense. 
I'm looking at Kayla Blevins. The back of her shirt says Black Flash. Creighton again goes in motion. Little misdirection coming to the near side. They're going to walk in. Olivia Pedro, outstanding soccer, basketball. Grandfather would be proud. He did that quite a bit, that Manning Bowl. They got English going all the way to the far side with the fake. They gave it back to Pedro coming to the near side. There was one player left. Pedro just flew by a cut up inside. So they go 20 yards in five plays. And now they'll look for the extra point. I think this is Julia Jordan. Looking to kick the extra point. We mentioned Clasco looking for four in a row has jumped on top. They take advantage of the interception. It hit the bar and bounced over. She hit a line drive. It didn't look like it was going to make it. It hit the crossbar and bounced over. She gets a big hug from her coach, Rob Smith. So Classical will kick it off. We're just over seven minutes left in this first half. Olivia Pedro following in granddad's footsteps. He's upstairs smiling, looking down. She feels that she could have run with the football, but she didn't. I guess she thought the ball was dead when she touched it. The ball's only dead if you have it and you drop it. But she wound up losing a few extra yards. Her teammates are saying, run, they weren't really blocking for her, but they were telling her to run. Lady Bulldogs take over first and 10, ball on 25 yard line. At the English 25. This is a memory these kids will remember for a long time. Win or lose. Some very outstanding athletes on the turf that have done themselves proud through high school, playing in, some of them played in multi-sports. Getting it up inside with a head of steam and English has got a first down. I could say Ashley Jonathan, number 11. I could also say Daniela Serrano, Eva Moraga. There's a few of them. She picked up 12 on the first down. First first down for English other than the penalty. 
And they try to cut it up inside again. And that's Dowling. Lost two. Approaching the halfway mark of the second period. Bosco on top, seven to nothing. Nine yard scamper by Olivia Pedro. Push back five more. Looking to throw. They let it fly. It's up. Picked off at the at the 44 yard line. Rebecca Walker. I think she got the first one too. Rebecca Walker on the way to end interception. First and ten lane classical. Off Lady Bulldog 34. So the ball's at the 34. A nice return of Beck Walker, outstanding softball player, outstanding shortstop. And Classel's back in business at the English 34 with just over five minutes left. And as they blow the whistle, classical was moving. They get up to block, and they had to snap the ball. So it'll be first and 15. Well, we got a timeout. I'll mention some more of those English kids so we can hopefully get through them. Alyssa Koklau, Alicia Randles, Anna Guzman, Remen Nantongo, Chanel Avalo, Danielle Rodriguez, Yulidas Lopez Perez, Marisol Conejo, Catherine Fortesane, Malena Biondi, Fainalyn Finjap, Zamaris Pena, Ashley Chez, Eva Moraga, Dylan Sock, Crystal Shigori, Kiani Dowling, Jennifer Geronimo, Zoe Hennessy, Taylor Raymond, Abdeli Moretta, Anika Uland, Crystal J uh, Jane, uh, Jean Francois, Kayaja Alexander, Brenda Perez, Amy Lawn, Paola Rosas, Genesee Duati. We're almost done. As it gets a little brighter here at Manning Field. They throw it outside. It's caught right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. The sun comes out. They let it fly long. Almost made the catch. Plevins stepped up in between defenders and almost made a great catch. Yeah, 
we had someone go over and try and figure out if we made a name. They had said 19, but there is no 19 in Costco. They said it was Caprice. I don't know if that's the first or last name. Running down the right side. Crystal Shigori. Down to the 32. Picked up seven. And we got to play it down. And while we have this brief moment, I will finish up the English side of the score sheet. Ruby Ching, Natalie Pa, Delisi Bautista, Cassidy Palma, Juliana Baratis, Carol Feliz, Vanessa Paul, Ariella Aline, Alicia Donoso, Michelle Molina, Aileen Prom, Tavetta May, Kaylin Jeffrey, Janya Hernandez, Mildred Mendez, Michelle Harrison, Alejandra De La Cruz, Chris Narius Defo, Jacqueline Lopez. So we've named them all. They all don't play. Most of them don't even go to practice, but they all buy a shirt because it means a lot to them, and they're on the sideline. Cutting it up inside. Pickup of 10 gives them a first down. Turning the corner yet again. Stafford, two in a row by Stafford. She gets it down to the 16. She picked up six. Second down and four. And they lose the football, they're going to lose yardage. They snapped it by everybody. A loss of seven on the play. They will bring up a third and ten. Ball from the winning was 23. Third and long, three wide receivers to the near side. They run it to the near side, not gonna go very far. That was Pedro. Lost five. So it looked promising, first and 10 at the 23. Now it's fourth down at the 28. Two minute one, two minutes left in the half. So fourth and 15. Madison Daner is now a wide out to the far side. She was the quarterback. And they're gonna kick it away. And <laughs> It takes a good classical bounce. It doesn't go in the end zone. The and they're going to mark it down where it bounced at the four-yard line. At the four-yard line with just under two minutes left, classical leading at 7 nothing. English has to be careful of the ball here. Classical will get the ball to start the second half. He took advantage of an interception. And we still can't figure out who it was. They still say it was number 19. And they had a name, but there's no 19 
Oh, that name doesn't appear either on the classical sheet. Coming to the near side. That's Dowling again. Getting it to the 10. He picked up six. We got a timeout. One of the English kids got hurt. And we certainly hope she's going to be okay. Maybe in that right leg or foot. Can't get a good look at her number. Elise Moore, I think, was the one that got hurt. And run close to a first down. To be a little bit shy. They got to the 13, they need the 14. So it's third and a yard. Was either it could have been Pam Rosales, Elise Moore, Natalie Pa. They all have number 14s. Clock is back running. This will be the last play. Dowling gets the first down, but that's going to do it. We got the first down, but that ends the half. So I wish we could find out who got the interception because the interception set up the one touchdown. Pedro from nine yards away. Julia Jordan nailed the extra point. She kicked it up. It hit the middle of the, the middle crossbar and bounced over. And that's the difference. They went 20 yards in five plays. And we reached halftime with Classwell trying to make it four in a row. They lead English at halftime, seven to nothing. Welcome back to Manning Field as we're getting set to start the second half. We mentioned before Classwell trying to make it four in a row over arch rival English as we start senior activity time at these high schools. There'll be a lot going on and as I mentioned before, all these seniors out there now are just, when this game comes around, they're just starting to realize that it's winding down, that their high school career is coming to an end. I think this is Biondi who was gonna kick off. Outstanding soccer player. And again, I apologize. English has got 300 kids on their roster, as you heard. If you spot at the 30-yard line, Abigail Stafford made the catch. The kick is returned by number six, Abby Stafford. Lance Blast will take over first and ten. And she ran it back to the 38. 
Nice return by Stafford. Another very good athlete. And I mentioned before that through the ranks they played with and against each other in soccer and basketball and softball. And there's some very good athletes who have done very well their high school career are going to move on and hopefully get even better with their adult careers. Clearing the corner down the sideline. And that's Stafford. She'll get a first down. To the English 47. 15 yards and a first down. That's the longest run from scrimmage by anybody. She had 11 yards on it. A carry before. Cuts it up inside. That's Pedro. Picked up four. Four on the play, second down and six. Ball for one English, 42 yard line. Stafford has rushed for 42 yards in the game. That's at 15 yards the longest run. That's her third double digit run. She ran for 11 and 10. Here she comes again. Gets to the outside, blockers out in front. Down the sideline, they're not gonna get her. She's gonna walk in for a touchdown. So they go 62 yards in three plays. Here's the replay, good block and Creighton and Pedro out front. Sealing the outside for her, and she walks in. And Jordan again will look for the extra point. This one's a lot better. It goes through a lot more cleanly. And yet again, she's going to get another big hug from her coach, Rob Smith. So 85 yards rushing by Abby Stafford to go along with her touchdown. And they go 62 yards in three plays. Stafford picked up 58 of them. So they had a good talking to at halftime, I guess, because they come right out. Three quick plays, bang. Picked up at the 29 yard line. And they get across the 30. And the English will put it in play there. They put it to 31. So if English doesn't want Clasco to win four in a row, they're gonna have to go to work. They're down two scores in the third period. And I'm watching 
whether it's Danielle Serrano or Eva Moraga or Juliana Baratis, all wearing all number 11s, coming out to the huddle and really favoring that right ankle, noticeably favoring the right ankle. Kaylee Smith Welton, the quarterback. She runs straight ahead. Gets to the 35. She picked up four. Second and six. We mentioned the start of a very big week. All Lynn here at Manning Field on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Eve, it will be Tech and Kip. Thanksgiving Day, of course, the granddaddy, English and classical. Smith Welton gets stripped up. They're going to give her a yard, I think, to the 36. Third and five. The granddaddy English and classical on Thanksgiving Day and a big one for St. Mary's. They're playing Fenwick at Fenwick. A win would give them a piece of the Catholic Central League Championship. And then for St. Mary's, it's off to Gillette to play for the state championship after a huge win against Cohasset yesterday in the Eastern Mass Final. Blew the whistle and it's a penalty against English. They use it, they're taking two steps forward and three steps back. They gain five, they lose five. So it's going to be third and ten. Back where they started at the 31 yard line. They're in the corner, nice run. That's Dowling. Picked up a first down out to the 43. Needed 10, she got 12. a lot of time in the huddle. They double the white house to either side. Big hole up the middle for Welton. He runs for a first down. That was Moses pounding the water. It just opened up a huge hole right in the middle. She ran right to the classical 45. Back to back 12 yard runs, back to back first downs. Gain of 12 on the play to first down. First and 10, Lady Bulldogs to the Lake Classical 45. At the classical 45, it'll be first and 10. We've named all of the English players, and there's quite a few of them. Most of them are not playing, but they get on the roster because they 
Get a shirt. They're on the sideline rooting on. We got a timeout. The coaching staff out to talk defensively. Coach Reynolds. Assisting Rob Smith. Out talking to his defense. They stay with the double wideouts to either side. Trying to cut it up inside. Going to lose a yard. Off the ball area. We found out in that first half it was Caprice Brito who picked off that pass and ran it 31 yards down to the 20 to set up the touchdown. The first touchdown. Rebecca Walker also has a pick for the classical defense. Who was bent a little bit, but they haven't broken. English hasn't come close. To have an opportunity to score. Over the middle. Picked off again. Jasmine Massey. Picked it off. Here's the pick in the crowd. He gets a hug from Coach Smith. Glasgow will get it at their 38. Two ticks under five minutes left in this third period. Glasgow in command, leading 14 to nothing. Here comes Stafford around the corner. She's closing in on 100 yards. Abby Stafford on the carry. Nine on the play. Out to the 47. Picked up nine. Six yards shy of 100 yards, Stafford. Coming to the near side. That's Pedro. Pedro the ball area. To the 49, picked up two. And that's a first down. A result for the first down, first and 10 Lady Rams. Ball zero, 49 yards. Four minutes and counting left in this third period. Classical comfortably on top, 14 nothing. They have the football, first and 10. They send double wideouts to the far side. Stafford gets hit in the backfield. Reem Nantongo with the defensive play. And again, I apologize for if I'm not pronouncing these names correctly. It could have been Aline Prawn as well, two number 15s. Second and 14. They fake going to the far side. They take it to the near side. 
Pedro with a nice run. And that's another first down. To the English 38, 17 yards in a first down. Pedro was rushed for 31 to go with her touchdown. They dropped the ball on the handoff. Dana looking to hand it. Dropped it. They lost four. As with two minutes and counting left in this third period. Costco leading it 14 to nothing. Second and 14. Stafford gets knocked down. She lost two. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up a third down and 16. Ball from Southern Lending was fourth and four. Third and 16. As Dana brings the play back to the huddle. And as quickly as we can, we'll go over those classical names when the period ends, which is under a minute now. I've gone this far without mentioning it's a very nice crowd here for this one. Good, good sized crowd here on the on the English side and a very good sized crowd over on the classical side. So while we got this time out, the classical kids, Kyla Creighton, Jayla Belvins, Sierra Collins, Julia Jordan, Olivia Pedro, Abigail Stafford, Megan DeLeo, Madison Dana, Kiani Jordan, Margaret McHale, Margaret McHale. Jada Bianchi, Anna Souza, Reem Mahida, Macy Jean Louise, Danielle Aworo, Mariana Familia, Laurie Martinez, Cassandra, Cassandra Avila. That takes care of the offense for classical. They don't have anywhere near as many names. On the roster for classical, they only list the players that will actually play. They fake, they throw it, it's caught. That's Brito, the 19 that we don't have. They didn't get the first down, but they got a little bit closer. They picked up 13. And it was 18, not 19. It was Kiara Collins that made that catch. So they end the third period. And while we have this break, we'll finish up the classical names. Jasmine Massey, Rebecca Walker, Kayla Morrill, Callie Madonka, Maria Paguero, Ava Brown, Jenna Tobin, Cheyenne Costin, Shamir Phils Amy, Uria Paul, Ana Lu Lopez Lopez, Jaden Caraca, Samantha Carbone, Jillian Brown, Alexis Ferraro, Angelica Crispin, Kathy Molina, Elizabeth Pierce, Elizabeth Castaneda, Sydney Hearns, Glendreth Martinez, uh, Fatima Gurdia, 
Outstanding soccer player. Nelsi Vasquez and Caprice Brito. And as I mentioned before, you'll recognize a lot of those names from the different sports over the years at, here at TV15 with soccer and softball and basketball. Fourth down, they need three. Pedro's not going to get there. They faked up the middle trying to send Pedro around the far side. And English is waiting for her. They put it back at the 39. They lost eight. Thank you. So English will take over at their 39. Well, Kira Collins was the one that made that catch. I thought I thought it was 19, but 19 plays defense. 18 is offense. Coming to the near side. Smith Welton thought she was clear. But she wound up losing a yard. At the 38, looked like she made a great fake and was going to get to the outside and maybe pick up a lot of yardage. Gurry is now the quarterback. Motion coming. They give it to Dowling. Here's the corner. Be, there's a flag on the play. That's going to be against English. They crunch one of the classical players, and she's down. I think that's Massey that's down. I hope she's going to be okay. So wipe that play out. getting up and going to the sideline under her own steam so thank God for that personal foul against English so they gave Dowling to the 47 And then they're going to mark it back to the 32. again. Loss of two on the play. Third and 19 from the 30 yard line. We got a timeout by English. The one thing I've noticed over the years when uh, whatever, uh, the difference between the girls' teams and the boys' teams, 
They both come to the games prepared. The coaches get them ready. They give that proverbial 110%. They work as hard as they possibly can. If you're walking out with some of the boys' players, you'll know whether they won or lost because they're jovial or they're down the dumps because they lost. The girls, you don't know because they have the same attitude. They love to play. They're competitive. But when the game is over, uh, it's off to other things. They have other things in their lives that they are excited about just as much as they are about sports. They love the sports, but they love other stuff as well. And it just doesn't carry over for long periods of time. They don't, uh, the boys seem to hold on to it a little bit longer, especially if it's a tough loss. The girls, it, you know, you'll see these girls now out in the park a lot after this game. English is probably going to lose this game. But if you talk to some of the English girls afterwards, you won't know whether they won or lost because they'll be upbeat. They won't be down in the dumps. They're they are just terrific, terrific kids. And I, I've said this many times. You've heard me say it many times. I wish everybody could get to know these kids the way I get to know them. I've made quite a few friends over the many, many years I've been doing this. And I've got to see some great players. I've got to see the other players, the teams that don't, the players that don't get their names in the in the in the paper. The linemen. The girls that play defense. The girls that don't score the points in basketball. The outfielders who don't get the big hits or don't hit home runs or they're not striking out from the mound 12 or 13 and winning multiple games. I've got to know so many of them and they really are just terrific great kids. They kick the ball up and it bounces at about the 47 yard line. At the 47, so Classical can shrink the game they're going to make it four in a row over English. P.J. Holy had his kids working hard They at practice. I saw them walking my dogs. They were there working on offense and defense. But Glasgow, just that first touchdown where they had good field position after the pick by Brito and then the long touchdown run by Stafford. misdirection they hand it Stafford coming to the near side they try to get Pedro going to the far side they drop the ball they lose four second and 14 and I mentioned again this is the start of senior activities there'll be a lot going on with the seniors as they wind down the last seven or eight months of their high school careers. And they've been good ones, both in the class and on the fields and on the courts. They've got a lot. They let it fly, it's caught. Slipping and falling is Blevins. Made the catch. Eight yards on the play. So it'll be third and six. High snap. Getting to the near side, turn the corner. Getting inside the 35. Stafford on the carry. Stafford on the carry. Yeah, the with the tackle. Picked up nine. She's two yards shy of 100 yards.
misdirection with Pedro. Slips the tag, tag gets around the corner, down the sideline. In for the touchdown. They were in that play before, they dropped the ball. Pedro gets her second. Olivia Pedro goes 34 yards. Forty-seven yards in four plays. Jordan does it again. She just made it the first time. And she gets another big hug from Coach Smith. She's improved by leaps and bounds. Her first kick. Hit the middle crossbar and bounced over. Just, just snuck in. The second two were good from even longer than she was kicking it from. She drilled it dead center twice. So with 5.15 left, Pedro gets her second. Stafford's got the other one between those two running the football. They've given Classical their fourth straight win in this series. Pedro has run for 61 yards. Stafford has run for 98. Alexis Ferraro, I finally figured out who it was that was wearing the very short shorts. And it's not her. At the 27 yard line, coming to the near side. And that's Dowling. Glenrith Martinez is the one wearing the very short shorts. So we know for sure now it's Glendreth Martinez who wearing those short shorts. Everybody else is wearing long pants. From the 34, finding a seam, running straight ahead, getting to the outside, runs for first down. Haley, Welch, the ball Haley Smith Welton has played well. She picked up 14. First and ten. I don't know if they still do this. They used to go to, I think it was the Knights, Knights of Pythias on Maple Street, but they had a spot that the teams would go to and get together and have a little to do afterwards. A little get together. I don't know if they still do that. Starts to the middle, cut to the outside, and it's going to lose yardage. And they didn't. They missed the tag, so she's going to wind up picking up a yard. Four minutes and counting before Classical can officially celebrate. Bob Smith is going to do it again. Up coaching Lynn English.
They give it to Dowling. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. They're going to give her a yard to midfield. Third and eight. Two twenty and counting as it's third and eight for the Bulldogs. Council's going to make it four in a row. Two touchdowns by Pedro, a touchdown by Stafford. Julia Jordan has kicked three extra points. The defense for Classical has been outstanding. Brito had a pick that set up the first touchdown. Rebecca Walker had an interception. Blevins had a couple of big catches. They drop it back at the 45. So they lose five, it'll bring up a fourth down. I don't think the English is gonna kick the ball away here. Normally you would punt it away. This was saying, run the clock, run the clock. I think PJ Holy standing next to the fish saying, run the clock, run the clock. Class was going to take over. Just under a minute left. They throw it deep, incomplete. Classical's going for the juggler. That clock ran down very quickly. It was 52 seconds. And now they're saying that's the final play. Classical is going to make it four in a row. This is just want to go home. Caprice Brito picked off a pass, returned it 31 yards to the 20-yard line. After a couple of plays, Pedro ran it in from the nine after they got pushed back with a penalty and a loss. Pedro's touchdown was all that Classical needed. Jordan kicked the extra point. She hit the middle crossbar, and it bounced over and through to make it seven nothing classical. That's where it was at halftime. They come out very quickly in the second half. Three plays, 58 yards picked up by Stafford. She went 43 yards for the touchdown. Jordan kicked the extra point. It was 14 to nothing. English punted out to the English 47. Four plays later, Pedro went 34 yards for the touchdown. Her second 
Good was again good, making it 21 nothing, and that was the final score. Uh, English just had no answer to Classical's defense. They were just a little bit quicker. They shut them down. Classical defense bent a little bit, but they didn't break. English never got close to getting on the scoreboard. They picked up a couple of first downs with Dowling running and Haley Smith Welton running. But on the other side, Pedro had two touchdowns. She ran for 61 yards. Stafford had that 43 yard touchdown run. She ran for 98 yards. Blevins had a couple of big catches. Brito had an interception. Re Rebecca Walker had an interception. And an all around great defensive and offensive performance by Classical. They make it four in a row. And activities week for the seniors have begun here with this powder puff game between English and Classical. And now it's on to Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving Day with Tech playing Kip and the big one, the granddaddy, English and Classical on Thanksgiving Day. So Classical makes it four in a row over English. They do it convincingly, both offensively and defensively. Pedro with two touchdowns. Stafford, she ran for 61. Stafford with a touchdown, she ran for 98. And Classical shuts out arch rival English for four in a row in the powder puff. Classical 21, English nothing. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Don Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.